uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so let's solve this very uh, interesting interview question okay so this is a mos based circuit and we have to find what is the look in in impedance from here okay from this node or you can see uh, we, you can uh, be asked that what is the uh, input impedance input impedance from here okay let's say here you have applied a v in here so you need to find what is the z in from that node okay so to find any uh, to find uh, any impedance uh, in a node what we do we deactivate deactivate all the independent sources right independent sources so if there is a voltage source this should be short circuited and if there is a current source then it should be open circuited okay and then what we do we apply that node a small stage voltage vt with respect to ground and measure what is the current coming out of this voltage source okay so finally to make that uh, impedance let's say z in we just do v test over i test okay so this is the general rule okay so now we are going to apply here as well uh, and intuitively okay without writing so much of equations so i am copying the circuit and this is interesting circuit we will try to comment after finding the uh, impedance okay so this is a voltage source right so this should be uh, short circuited and as it will be short circuited so it will be short circuited to the ground right because vdd with with always respect to ground right so it should be grounded okay and if uh, and this uh, ideal current source will be open circuited so it will be looking like that so i am removing that from here okay and here in this node we have to apply a test voltage small test voltage so let's say we are applying a test voltage like this so this is our vt and this is our it okay or it or i test okay now we have to find this v test over i test so i can see so from that branch there is two branches one is going to the m1 mosfet and another mosfet uh, another current is going to upward okay so let's say this is m uh, uh m mp1 this is let's say mp2 okay now we have to find to just this uh, ratio okay so what we can do so let me copy the circuit here so so uh, from so, so for this case so you can see there is a vgs developed okay so this vgs is nothing but that vt right because this voltage is nothing but that voltage with respect to ground so here vt is nothing but vgs of 1 okay now to for that what is the current flowing through this uh, node let's say this is i1 so this i1 will be nothing but so i am writing small signal i1 okay small signal i1 so it will be how much it will be uh, gm times so it will be gm1 times uh, vgs1 right so it will be gm1 vg v test okay right so let's say this is our equation one and so you can see and this current is the uh like that current is the sum of these two current that current that mosfet current and the current flowing through this capacitance okay so this let's say this is i2 okay so this i2 is the sum of this current this i1 plus that current let's say ic okay right because the kcl has to be satisfied here right okay okay so this is let's say equation 2 now what we can do so we can see again so this i2 actually these two are in the current mirror okay so small signal current flowing this branch will be same this branch as well okay so this is i2 as well right now what is the current okay so the direction may be wrong here so let's make it correctly so a, a small signal current is always flowing from drain to source okay so what i will write i will write this current is flowing in this way this is i2 and this is the same current mirror thing so the i2 current will be flowing through this mp on mosfet as well okay and again so 
So what will happen? So let's say this current is moving here and this current is moving here and this current is moving here. So if we apply here, na, so sum of these three current will be zero, right? To satisfy the KCL, right? So this from this node, all of these three current is outgoing. Okay. So the this equation will be slightly changed to this. Okay. Right. So this is your equation two. As this is on is to on current mirror, so same current will be flowing through it. Okay. And what is the current flowing through that branch? So this current is always zero because the gate cannot carry any current. Okay. So actually your I test is nothing but your I two. Okay. Right now because this current let's say I x is zero and your I test is I two plus I x I x but your I x is always zero because it is connected in the gate. and the gate has infinite resistance okay so your i test is nothing but your i2 okay so let's say this is three equation so what we need so we need to just replace this i on and i c in terms of i2 or i test okay so let's do here so now we have to find what is the potential at this node so that we can uh, comment on the current right i c current right so we need to find this node let's say this is our uh, vp okay so vp so now what is the current i2 so i2 will be nothing but this gm let's say gmp gmp times this vp right because this is your vs vgs okay this is your vgs and this vgs is nothing but your vp because the s node is connected to the ground okay so gmp times vp and what is the uh, ic so ic will be nothing but that voltage and that voltage is nothing but that voltage because it is connected in a direct connected manner short circuited so your ic actually your ic is nothing but that voltage vp over that impedance okay so that impedance is nothing but s uh, on over s cl so if you do uh, uh, like if you simplify this you will get ic as vp times S C L. Okay, so let's say this is uh, equation four and this is equation five. Okay, so it, it may seem like it is so much of equation, but actually you need that. Just intuitively you can see actually there is no current, so all of the current has to be flowing through it. So uh, as this is a current mirror, so same current will be flowing through it. Okay, and if if it is getting a sufficient VGS, so small current will be flowing through it, and there is another current this. So sum of this like three current will be zero. So that is your intuition. Okay. Now we have to solve this small equations. Okay. So how do we can do? We can simply uh, like place this yeah, VP to here. Okay. So from these two equations, we, I can write I two as GMP times so VP as nothing but IC over our uh, SCL. Okay. Right. So this is a another important equation. Now how do we can do? So we can just replace. Uh, so I one is always here. I one is always. So we will replace in this equation. Okay, all of the things. So I am writing the equation again. So I two plus I one plus I C equals zero. So I two is how much? So I two is. Uh, so I two is okay. Let me check. Okay. So I two is your. GMP. Okay, I'm I'm writing is there here. Yeah. GMP into IC over SCL plus I one. I one is nothing but how much? I one was GM one V test. GM one V test. And IC is. Oh, okay. Plus IC. Okay. Let let write it IC. Equals zero. Now, we, you can see that uh, there is IC uh, is present here as well. So we need to remove this IC. Okay. So what I can do? Okay, I think I am missing something. Okay, let me check. Uh, your I two is I test. Okay. So this is wrong actually. Okay. You need to replace I two as your In the form of I test, okay. So I two is your I test, so it is I test plus I one is G M one times uh, V test 
plus IC and we will write in the form of I2. Okay. So, IC is IC from here IC is uh, I2 into SCL uh, over GMT. Okay. Okay. And your I2 itself is I test. So, I will write I test into SCL over GMT equals zero okay now it is fine okay so everything in terms of i test and v test okay so further simplification i will get uh, i can okay i can take common uh, i test will be one plus scl over gmp and this will go to negative of gmp one v test okay so now we have we need to find V test over I test. Okay. So it will be V test over I test. So V test over I test, it will be 1 plus SCL over GMP by GM1. Okay. So this is your final expression. And there is a negative sign. So it will be like that. So actually, your impedance actually a negative impedance. Okay. So now try to find out. Okay. So this is your thing final thing and we can uh, simplify further let's say your gmp equals gm1 equals gm some gm okay same gms so you will, you will find your z in as so this is your z in actually so z in as minus so i can simplify further so it will be 1 over gm plus scl by uh, gm square right right so this is your final answer now you can see that there is a negative impedance so actually what is what does it mean uh, if you like so we know r equal to v by i okay so negative impedance means the slope is negative okay so if you increase the voltage here uh, your current would not be increasing it will decrease okay so this is the meaning of negative resistance actually this negative resistance has a uh, wide range of application in the oscillator circuit but uh, actually you have to uh, look into this matter that the ne impedance is negative but again you can see that it is a function the z in is a function of directly to the s right so actually this phenomenon is a behavior of an inductor right because you know the inductor z l has a dependency on uh, SL, right? So, as the frequency increases, your ZL is also increasing. So, actually, it, it has a uh, negative resistance or negative impedance of a inductor, okay? Right? Because this is a inductor impedance, okay? As long as your frequency is increasing, this impedance is increased, but in a negative manner, okay? Okay, so this was the thing I want to mention. So, it, had, it is providing as a, like, inductor, but in the negative impedance, okay? That's it. Thank you.